Hey, so of course banging starts right now. <laughs> but I'm not gonna have time to start this vlog later. So we have to deal with it. So it's Thursday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. So it's 2.41 p.m. And basically, uh, Chloe from Books with Chloe, Kevin from I Irish Reader, Caitlin from Kate Literature, and um, Jamie from Jamie's Library, they're doing a 48-hour readathon this weekend. Um, so for me, it starts tonight at 6 p.m. But <laughs> I'm going to be at work when it starts, so that's why I said I'm not going to have time to this start this later so i want to just like start off the vlog now let you guys know what i'm gonna be reading also because i'm gonna be at work when it starts i'm gonna add on two hours to the end of it so instead of it ending for me um saturday at 6 p.m i'm gonna end it at saturday at saturday 8 p.m so yeah what i'm gonna be reading i'll start off with because i'm gonna be at work again the first starts I'm going to be reading, I'll put a picture here, Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. <laughs> I borrowed it from Libby, so I'm going to be reading that on the train and stuff so I can start the reading and the vlog while I'm still out. But the other book I'm going to be reading and what I'm going to mainly be focusing on, so Kingdom of the Wicked I'll read like, on the train today while I'm still out and I'm getting back from work and then I'll also like, read that probably like right before whenever i like decided to go to sleep or just like whenever i feel like it but my main focus is going to be a torch against the night by sabat here this is the second book in the and ember in the ashes series um yeah i was supposed to do like separate reading vlogs for each one of these books but that's not really gonna happen anymore at least not for this one but it's still kind of a separate vlog for each book because um i'm gonna be mainly focusing on this book this the next 48 hours but if you want to check out my vlog for an ember in the ashes i'm gonna link it up here so you can check that out but yeah um this one i'm gonna be reading and i'm not sure how much i'm gonna be reading during not reading <laughs> sleeping during this 48 hours but i'm gonna try to keep it to a minimum but there is going to be some sleeping. Yep, that's those are my plans. I'm excited for this readathon to start. And this should be an interesting 48 hours. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys again later once the readathon actually starts. And once I start reading. So yeah, talk to you guys later. What's up? So it's 12, it's now technically Friday, April 2nd, 12.13 a.m. And we are doing this 48 hour readathon. Basically, I have my tea now because we have to stay up as long as we can. I don't know how long I'm gonna make it to BH. But we have our tea. Um, so Kevin from Irish Reader, when the 48 hour started, which for me, it was at 6 p.m. He, with Chloe and Caitlin and Jamie, they did a, a live. They did a live reading spring, so they had three. Um, so I watched that once I got home because I couldn't watch it when it was live because I was at work. 
um so when i was on the train coming back home from work i started put a picture um kingdom of the wicked by carrie maniscalco so far i'm enjoying it i'm intrigued to see what's gonna happen in the story what it's about and so far i like the main character so there's that oh and i got 26 pages in so i read a tiny bit on the train and then i read a, a little bit more now while i was watching the live which wasn't live anymore because what i just said okay so the plans for tonight um i'm putting this down kingdom of the wicked for a bit yeah i think now i'm gonna start torch against tonight but it's about to hear the second book in the ember and the ashes series i think i'm gonna start this but first i have to finish doing my laundry and then i'll get to this hopefully the little clip before this clip was at least a little bit i don't know cool i don't i don't know what i'm doing i'm trying to i'm trying to spice up these vlogs a little bit more oh there goes the washing machine so yeah i'm excited to hop into this i'm gonna go finish my laundry finish my tea and then we're gonna hop into a torch against the night my phone it is 2 19 a.m i'm starting i'm starting to get sleepy so i'm currently watching jody's most recent vlog jody aka vanilla moon so yeah um i was reading a torch against the night but about to hear i am on page 50 chapter chapter 7 i believe it's in roman numerals <laughs> believe it's chapter 7 so thoughts so far it starts off right where book one ends i was gonna say <laughs> what it was and i'm like wait spoilers so yeah it starts off right where the <laughs> book one ends and so it picks up like at a fast pace and um i'm enjoying so far being back in this world and being back with these characters and i feel like already 50 pages in a good amount of stuff has happened and i'm interested to see um where the story is gonna go from here and yeah but going is that fireworks? I don't think it's fireworks. I don't know what that noise is. Anywho, um, I think I'm gonna put this down for a bit. I'm gonna finish watching um Jody's vlog and then probably just gonna turn off all the lights and read some more Kingdom of the Wicked and See how long I can stay up. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are my plans for the rest of tonight. And I'll keep you guys updated on how this 48 hour readathon is going. So talk to you later. Hey, <laughs> what's up? It's 9.55 p.m p.m. it's a.m. <laughs> wow friday april 2nd wow and <clears throat> nyc is 20 degrees fahrenheit <laughs> low this a.m. marked only the second time since 1997 it's time this cold in april and let me tell you it's cold <laughs> but i don't know what the heater is in on usually when it's like even a little bit cold the heater in my building is like the last thing i have my blanket and i'm gonna stay in bed for a while okay so 
for last night. I'm oh, the wicked. <laughs> I just woke up. Bear with me. So in Kingdom of the Wicked last night, I'm up to chapter 7. I'm on page 54. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm intrigued to see um, where the story goes from here. And yeah, I'm intrigued. With that so far, um, with the torch against the night, I didn't read any more because I just turned up the lights and <laughs> was reading Kingdom of the Wicked last night. And I ended up going to sleep at 4.30 a.m. So I got like, I think like five hours of sleep. Um, so this morning I'm going to be reading A Torch Against the Night. Yes, I'm probably gonna start reading in a bit and then I'll probably read, I'll probably start reading at like at 10.30. Fully finish waking up, wake up like at 10.30 and then um, read for <laughs> Like an hour and a half, free until noon, and then start getting ready and stuff. So those are my plans, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys again later. By 42 p.m. and I've been reading and scorching it's the night so I am now on page 213 I'm on chapter 25 I believe I just got to part two which is north uh, yeah I just got to part two and okay thoughts so far one I don't know how to feel about Helene I think she doesn't even know how to feel about herself. <laughs> like, do I like her? Do I not like her? I don't know. In certain ways, I like her, but then in other certain ways, I don't. Um, I guess with her, I just have to see like what, um, like, in the rest of this book and the series, what decisions she makes and what side she decides to be on to know if i like her or not the commandant hate her <laughs> um she's horrible and then with when it comes to our main characters laya and <laughs> laya and elias i like them i'm not in love with them but i like them also i'm intrigued i'm intrigued about everything um the plot what's going <laughs> if they're going to be able to accomplish this mission um especially with one of like the setbacks that they have to get through that they may not be able to get through being vague because <laughs> spoilers um but yeah i'm interested to see if they're going to be able to accomplish what they want to accomplish achieve their mission because it just keeps getting harder and i'm just like are they gonna make it? I don't know. <laughs> also, when it comes, cause you know, like every book has like at least a little bit of romance. In this, I don't know what the ships are, um, any other relationships. Um, there's a lot of feelings with like each other. It's not even like a triangle. I don't even know what shape it is. There's a lot. I don't know like what relationships are gonna be end game have no clue i'm intrigued to see like what happens but i feel like this more like realistic i don't know i'm, I'm just i really i don't know anything about relationships i don't know who i want to end up together and i'm not sure where it's heading either which i feel like in most cases where like any kind of like romance or fantasy you usually do know who are going to end up together in the end in this situation i have no idea and i don't even know who i want to end up together 
I think I do a little bit, but I don't know if that is. Okay, so Elias and Laya. I think they'll be cute together, but I don't know if that's a good pairing. I just I need to like be with them more and learn more about them, and also um see the other possible love interests that could be for Elias and see how they interact with each other more cause yeah I just don't know that's the moral of the story I don't know I I, I seem to keep reading and keep having to like seeing everybody's interactions with each other to see who I vibe being together more because at this point I don't know but I, but I am enjoying this. The plot is good. The characters are good. Um, and I'm intrigued to see like what's going to happen. So yes. I'm going to take a break because I am hungry. So I'm going to eat something. And then I think Chloe is doing. I think she's streaming. Oh let's see. I think she's going to stream soon, so we'll see what happens. Because I think they said at 6 p.m. they want to do, like, um, everybody that's involved in this readathon, that they want to do a stream on Chloe's Twitch. So I was going to watch that, but I don't know at what time that's going to be. I thought it was at 6, but nobody has said anything, so I don't, I don't know a lot of things. That's the, that's the um what's that called the theme of this vlog i don't know anything <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go eat so talk to you guys later okay um it's now 9 56 p.m i just got to part three oh, I'm, I'm really close i just got to part three so i'm on page page 277 i'm about to start chapter 33 and Okay, a lot has happened. Yeah, on the romance side, not a lot has happened. But plot-wise, a lot has happened. We have... We... <laughs> Something has been re revealed, but I don't think it's true. I think I think they're hiding something and something else happened. Um, and I don't think it's true. Also, there's this thing. I'm going on with Laya. And she finally figured out something that she can do and i'm like intrigued yeah I, i'm curious to know how she could do that certain thing and yeah like how want to know how she could do that and i feel like it's gonna be very helpful um in the future like in the rest of the book um and in the next Bucks in the series if she could figure out like exactly how to control it and everything so that's cool somebody died <laughs> and i literally i'm doing like the little post-its every 50 or so pages and i literally wrote how dare saba kill off this person because why was that necessary <laughs> uh, but yeah i'm really enjoying it i'm not like super in love with this story but i'm having a fun time reading it yep uh, i for the most part like the characters and i'm really enjoying the plot and we're trying to figure out where things are gonna go from where things are gonna go yeah also there were some lines by helene and i'm like oop <laughs> i'm like she did that she did that yeah she said that and she did that but yeah, I'm really interested also with Helene and just seeing like, you could tell just like how frustrated she is on just like not knowing what to do, not knowing what the right thing to do is. She's like conflicted with her, with what everyone else is telling her to do. Um, what she grew up being taught is the right thing to do and following her guts and her heart on what she thinks is right um so she's really like having like an inner battle with herself trying to figure that out and 
honestly having fun like getting to know her more and well not getting to know her more but just being in her mind and seeing like the struggle that she's going through and her just trying to figure out what because i feel like that's most people where it in certain parts of life where you don't know what the right thing to do is and there are so uh, so many people telling you different things and then you have conflicting feelings about what you should do so i feel that i feel that so yeah um i'm gonna take a bit of a break for now and i'll hop back into this a little bit later oh also i did watch um chloe's stream twitch stream which it was so much fun um they played fortnite i will never i don't think i will ever play fortnite <laughs> but it's honestly so fun watching them play and because she's like on a call with um kevin caitlin and jamie and they're all playing so it's just fun hearing the commentary a lot of like funny things happen in the um in the stream so they'll take they did that for two hours so what they do is that they like stream for two hours and then they add on two hours to their readathon um so it could actually be 24 hours of them actually reading since they can't read during the stream but yeah it was so much fun watching that um and yeah so enjoying this I'm gonna take a break now and yeah i'll talk to you guys again later once i've started to read again It's 128 a.m. And I still haven't finished, but I'm very close. I just got to part part four unmade. So I'm on page 369. A lot was revealed. There was a betrayal. <laughs> yep. I didn't see that coming. Which now that I'm thinking about it, I should have seen coming. But I didn't. Yep. The, yep. <laughs> yeah, that was a betrayal. And yep. Yeah, um multiple people found out about something. They have also betrayed I don't even know what to say. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. There was a betrayal. Didn't see that coming, but I should have. Um, yeah, I'm so enjoying. I'm so enjoying this. Um, I'm intrigued to see how this is gonna wrap up. And I'm. Well, this book. Um, there's still two more books in the series. But I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to find out why this certain person did certain things and why they were asking certain questions and basically what they want with lot with liam like what do you want with her i need to know um yeah i feel like there's more to her that even she knows and i'm intrigued to find out so yeah that's my update for now. I don't know when I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to take a bit of a break. <sighs> yes. And yes, I'll just talk to you guys later once I've read some more. I have only that one part left. So just four sections. Four parts. I'm off part four. So we'll see what happens. So it's 4.45 p.m. on Saturday, April 3rd. Well, that was 45. Okay, so what happened was last night after my last update, it was, I think it was around 2 a.m. Um, I started not to feel that great, so I went to sleep pretty much right after that clip. Like, 
maybe like 30 minutes later and then i didn't wake up until like i didn't wake up <laughs> until about noon today so yeah because i just felt like i needed rest so that happened so then after i woke up um i started to read again and i finished <laughs> a torch against the night by Saba tahir i ended up giving this a on Goodreads, I gave it four stars, um, but it's more like a 3.75. It was really close to a four star, but not quite. Um, I did really enjoy my enjoy my time reading this book, and yeah, a lot of stuff happened at the end. Um, there was one thing that I didn't expect to happen, but then I was just like, I guess it was about to happen. Um, but I'm now intrigued to find out what's going to happen in the next two books. Just because I feel, I'm like, are, are certain things reversible? Are they not? And yeah, and just mainly what's going to happen to this one character. And basically what's going what's gonna to happen to everyone. Because um, at the end of this, nothing really worked out exactly how everyone imagined it would work out oh my god i hate the commandant she's so annoying and marcus hate him too so like with our main characters um helene elias and laya i really want to know like what's next what's next on their journey and because i've heard that <laughs> All of Saba's books are like heartbreaking and um, with what happened at the end with one of the characters I I can see how that could like really like stab you in the heart but I'm not really attached to any of the characters yeah I'm really I'm not really attached to any of the characters so I've Maybe that just didn't hit me as hard as it did for other people because I'm not fully attached to anyone. I'm not sure why I'm not fully attached to any of the characters because I do like them. But yeah, I'm just like not... Yeah, a certain thing didn't hit me as hard as I feel like it would hit other people that um, it's more attached to that character. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah. I had a fun time reading this until I started not feeling well. <laughs> so yeah, I had a fun time reading this. I'm excited to see what's going to happen in Reaper of the Gates. And yeah, so, um, so there's that. I'm probably just going to, because I do feel better, but I don't feel 100% yet. So I'm not going to start reading again. I probably will start. It's 4.49. So I think I'm just going to start again at 6 once um, Chloe, Kevin, Caitlin, and Jamie do their reading sprint lives. Live? It's not more than one. Um, yeah, so um, I'll probably start reading again then. Kingdom of the Wicked. And then because the... It was, this was supposed to end at 6 p.m., which is the time of the readathon, but because it did the Fortnite stream, they added on two hours, so that's really eight. But I started two hours later to begin with because I was at work at the beginning of this readathon. So I'm gonna add on another two hours to make up for those two hours that I missed. So I really have until, until 10 p.m. to get as much reading as I can, so. I'll be reading from 6 to 10, Kingdom of the Wicked. Uh, yeah, right now I'm just gonna relax a little bit until that live starts. Yep, that's my update for right now, and I'll see you guys once the live starts. Hey, so it's days later. Um, I think the last thing I said was, I don't, I don't remember, but it's April 6th, Tuesday, April 6th, 1.05 p.m. And I just wanted to wrap up the 48-hour readathon now that ended days ago now. 
basically yeah i think that one of the last things i said was i wasn't feeling that great so i was like i think i said i might read some of kingdom of the wicked but yeah um i feel better now i think it was just anxiety tbh um i think it was that i think it was a mix of anxiety and lack of sleep that i wasn't feeling well so yeah anyways the wrap up so i did i know i told you guys i finished a tw <laughs> i finished a torch against the night but stop about to hear I, but then i give this 3.5 3.75 i think it was 3.7 yeah 3.75 out of five stars i really enjoyed it I, I enjoyed the plot and i know i said that i didn't really connect to any really connect to any of the characters but i'm starting to think that the reason why I didn't connect to any of the characters isn't because they weren't good characters but it was because I've heard about how like heart-wrenching this series is and how not everyone makes it out alive so I feel like I would I unknowingly went into the series not wanting to get attached to any of the characters because i didn't want to go through the heartbreak of like if somebody that a character that i really loved didn't make it out alive at the end so i think that may be it but yeah um i really like her writing i really like um the plot the storytelling and these characters are good characters and I'm interested to see where their story goes in the next two books and so that's why I have to say about Twitch Against the Night. I think um, A Reaper of the Gates which is the next book in the series I'm gonna read in May and then hopefully I'll read the last book of Sky Beyond the Storm in June. So look forward to those videos because I'm definitely gonna vlog that. Um, and then, so I read this entire book during the 48 hours. I also read some of Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I'll just put a picture here because I only have the ebook from Libby. Um, so with that, I'm not far into it. Um, but I'm intrigued so far. I really like the, um, because it's, I'm pretty, it's set in Italy. Um, so I like all the, like, Italian, like, stuff that's included in the story like um, there's a bit of um like italian phrases thrown in there and yeah so yeah i'm very interested to keep reading that book throughout the month of april but i may have to stop reading it at night because <laughs> i just remembered last night i read that right before going to sleep right and then i had a, we a weird dream that woke me up like in the middle of the night and then I was like, maybe I shouldn't be reading about a demon princess at night, right before bed. <laughs> so I may have to stop reading that before bed. We'll see. Um, but yes, um, let me know if you guys participated in Chloe, Kevin's, Caitlin, and Jamie's 40-hour readathon. If you have a video, please let, um, link it down below so I can watch those. Because I love watching reading vlogs. And yeah, also what you if you didn't participate um what did you read during that weekend or this weekend or what well, what are you reading now whatever so that is all and if you like this video please give it a like because i don't know what kind of videos to post on here also all of my social media links will be linked down below in the description box you can follow me on there and if you have what i forgot my my outro and if you haven't yet please subscribe to yeti hearts books and become wait, that's not it um and if you like to please subscribe to become a member of a little family here on Yaddy Hearts Books. And I'll catch you guys here in the next time. And I'll catch you here next time. Yeah. Just bye. I don't know my outro anymore. <laughs>